Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 54 of FTB Interactions. Where I'm still processing all that iron I mined last episode. Good job, iron miner. Do the fast thing. Uh, between episodes, I did a little bit of crafting, a little bit of changing up of some things. Uh, nothing too crazy. Um, you know, tweaked a little bit of this uh, slu uh, fluid solidifier, polyvinyl chloride doohickey. Uh, long story short, um, I got tired of the whole way it behaves with the whole logistics. But it was over-engineered, like, let's just be honest, right? Um, so it was annoying, and I got rid of it. And now uh, I, just, I just have it keeping chlorine and polyethanol in stock in the chemical reactor, and it's just constantly making polyvinyl chloride. It's going to be a, a little bit of a huge backstuffing of polyvinyl chloride, but I suspect we will eventually, you know, need all we can get, right? So, meh. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. It's just. It is what it is. Uh, I'd like to speed up some of my machines and also do a better job of keeping some things in stock. A lot of my machines are on the LV tier now, and frankly, access to HV and what I'm calling at this point nearly unlimited power. Um, you know, we've got a lot of power. Let's just put it that way. We're really good in terms of power gen for the HV tier. So I'm not. I'm. I'm suspecting that I'm not gonna have any power problems for a bit courtesy of my distillation tower, which is making large amounts of fuel and sulfuric gas. See, we've backstuffed on sulfuric gas. So we stopped making sulfuric naphtha, we stopped making um, the other stuff, and what it's gonna do now, which is pretty cool, um, is basically just run off the gas for a little bit and then make a little bit more of the stuff. So, I mean, everything's gonna work out pretty well. Um, what I wanna start with today is probably, um, Getting myself probably a little bit more signalum cable times four wouldn't be a bad idea. And I also want to look at, um, can I just get 10 of you? That would be great. That would be great. Thanks, Chief. Yeah, do the thing. Even MT, uh, medium voltage here, some of the stuff is pretty good. Oh, yeah, I remember you guys now and how you work. Good job, Sterling Silver Dust. Hooray! Everything's working out just fine. Um, what I want to get started with is uh, doing a little bit of um, advanced assembly machine. I definitely want to get that going. Now, what was in here? Can I get rid of you? You were a polyethylene sheet, so I can like... Burp, 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 burp. Oh, I can just do this, right? And that'll clear it. And this one was my polyvinyl chloride sheet, which I can also get rid of. And then my fluid crafting upgrades, I will just sort for some time in the use later. So we don't need all this over-engineered stuff that we had. You know, it was it was it was a fun experiment while it lasted, but meh. At the end of the day, it just wasn't it wasn't worth the uh, the benefits of of what we were doing with it. That's right. I killed a spider earlier. I forgot. What I think I want to work towards today is getting a bit back into some of the magical stuff. So I'd like to get into blood magic uh, and astral sorcery and see where we can progress now that we've advanced pretty aggressively through Greg Tech. I think our overall goal. Um, oh, yay, we made this. Ooh, 32 glowstone doped wafers. I will take. Thank you kindly. Ba -doop -ba -doop. That's pretty cool. Um, and I think that might have actually gotten me access to some better circuits, didn't it? If we were to look in the circuits tab, so this is HVH, this is HVH. So I could get into nanoprocessors, by the way, which I think are probably slightly cheaper versions of um yeah epoxy huh that sounds cool of the of the of the expensive one that like this is expensive by comparison right like i think we're making it this way um so this is a cheaper version of the same processor but it just requires more setting up right well, that ain't so terrible look at that that requires luv though okay so this is really the main way to do it first until we get into even better. But we need to get into epoxy, which is some other things that I just don't feel like dealing with right now. Didn't I just get something that did sulfuric acid? I forget, but I'm sure I'm sure we have a way to get sulfuric acid now. So that's all cool. You can see the advanced assembly machine that I made uh, between episodes there. And you're probably processing a bunch of rubber and signalum for me, which is beautiful to see. I'm assuming something's happening with all the signalum I requested. And hey, you're making... You're struggling on power a little bit. Yeah, see, my MV tier power is just a little bit struggly. Why do you have stainless steel and it's just chilling in there? That I don't understand. See, my MV tier is a little bit, you know, of a power problem. You know what I should do? It's 
going to require a lot of signalum cabling, though. I should, I should switch this guy to HV input hatches so that he's EV tier. That would be cool. That would be cool. But, uh, yeah, that's a thing that I should do, but haven't yet. You diesel generator, you would need some diesel if I wanted to boost you a little bit. I actually think that's the one thing that we might be a little bit low on, but let's see. Is this diesel? Oh, this is diesel, so we're cool. We can give you a little boosting. See, so yeah, my MV tier is a little bit low, which is why I should consider, you know, doing some stuff at HV tier. But we'll get there. There's a lot, there's a lot of infrastructure and other things to mess around with and have fun with. So that should get my signalum back up and running, I would think, right? Yeah, see now he's able to run again, sort of. And as my MV machines start to, eh, maybe not as much as I had hoped. Wow, really? You having that much problem, Chief? I mean, yeah, you really are. And you know what it is? It's because these guys are all running like crazy. Because I had to do my polyvinyl chloride thing. Hello, Arrow. Lots of mobs spawning around my base lately, which is weird. It's these guys all running. All these guys are running so much to supply the polyvinyl chloride because I changed up that setting thing. That's what's doing it. And this guy's still paused, right? Yeah, working disabled. Good job. How about you? Did you burn through all your stuff? Yeah, you're pretty cool. And then you guys are mostly off as well. None of you guys are actually running. So, I mean, we don't have that many machines running down here. But it's definitely not helpful to have all this salt required. Meh, I'm not going to worry about it. We'll get there eventually. You are working now, yes? Good. All right. So, what I want to look at first is maybe an air sigil. Um, and I'd like to upgrade Blood Magic a little bit if I can. We'll have to see. But an air sigil, you guys know, is like a super great way to get around town, right? We just need a reinforced slate, which is not terrible. It is a blank slate uh, turned into a reinforced slate. And blank slates, as we're going to call, are Nocturnal Powder, Arcane Stone, and Life Essence in a mixer. Not terrible. Uh, I think we might have some of those laying around. We'll have to see. Uh, blank slates by chance. If, oh yeah, no, look, we have a bunch of them. That's cool. All right, good times. And that should be no problem to make over here in this dude. The other part of this will obviously be a little bit harder, but not terrible. We probably could have made this earlier, but we were hyper-focused on a lot of our other stuff that we had going on, right? Zoinks. Zoinks. Bad guys. Come on. Do the thing. Thank you. All right. Oh, and I was harvesting uh, rubber wood. I guess I left a sapling planted by mistake that I missed. That's all right. I should really look at food sooner than later to not, you know, deal with the hunger pangs. It's not the end of the world, but, you know. All right, so you're going to go in here. My dust can go away. We'll let everything process. He'll get around to having my HV cabling sooner than later. Eventually, he'll get there, in theory. Yeah, he's slowly but surely making progress-ish. We'll see. Um, but the other thing I want to get is the other stuff for this air sigil. So we got that. That was easy. The air reagent requires some volatus crystals, some aluminum foil, some feathers, and some gas tears. The gas tier probably being the hardest one to get at this point because we've got four feathers. That's not a problem. Um, and we've got aluminum foil. We can definitely get four of you. Not a problem. And it'll auto craft it for me, which is also best. So that's cool. Volatus crystals shouldn't be too big of a deal. I think flowers have volatus on them, so making volatus crystals should be extremely easy. Um, we'll probably get... Do we have some quartz? Yeah, I can just snap. Well, I think we got some out there already, so I'm not going to waste my time getting it. Let's see, is it becoming daytime? Yeah, it pretty much is. We got some tiny... Do we have some volatus already by chance? Yeah, we got five of them. Sweet. We do have some Volatus Crystals. All right, so that means making this Air Sigil is going to be nice and easy. We just got to go get a Ghast here. I know I just made a mistake, 
and said that this is going to be easy. So hopefully I don't regret that. But my suspicion is, is getting a gas tier shouldn't be too bad, or at least I hope so. So let's put away a bunch of junk that we don't super need right now in our inventory so that we can get this air sigil. And that's going to make exploring this world of ours just a little bit better. And you're going to go here, by the way. Um, I had a chassis point that I wanted you to have. Hang on a second. Yes, give me one of these. I haven't hooked you up to the line yet, but we'll get there. This crafting module, I got all ready to make electric motors and... Then I realized that it required HV tier. So yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. Now electric motors should be somewhere around. Ah. So like I said, they like to there's mobs spawning around out here now. Sneaky mobs. Doing sneaky spawns. Alright. We had a nice little base that didn't have any spawn problems for a bit. All right, you no longer need to exist. Cool. Well, he's going to need to exist in a minute, but next time I go to craft him, he won't need to exist. How's that sound? Fair? All right, let's pop into the nether. Oh, look, you're almost done. He's getting there. He's getting there. Occasionally, he gets enough power to complete this craft. So one more of those and we'll be good. Um, let's pop into the nether and see what kind of trouble we can get into. And I should really look at getting better armor at some point, right? That's like a thing we should do. I think I can get dark armor now, by the way. Can I, don't I have access to Ender.io's dark steel armor? I think I do. Blast furnace, HV tier, 2500k temperature. So 2500k is Canthal, which is which is the tier that I think we have access to now, right? Canthal wire is made with Canthal ingots, which requires a vacuum freezer. So if I got my vacuum freezer up and running and got myself some Canthal coils, and then we could get a blast furnace going with Canthal, then we can get dark steel. And that would uh, potentially be cool. That would be really cool. Because you guys know I love dark armor right like it's kind of one of the better upgrades available out there like all the all the upgrades you can get from ender io are really quite good i'm assuming they all exist and they're hopefully not terrible recipes they all look like standard dark iron bars mana steel wire microchip tier one a little polyethylene and bob's your uncle yes please that all looks very very fair um a very basic circuit and transistor is just iron wire and steel. Oh yeah, dude, we could absolutely do this. And then we could have like the speed upgrades. That would be super cool. Enchanted with ridiculous enchants dark armor. Yes. That is a very fun idea for us. We're gonna we're gonna consider that for sure. But I'm now going to run around the nether for a few minutes, a bit unarmored, looking for Ghasts, which I'm hoping wouldn't be too hard to find, but they might be, in fact, difficult to find. We'll have to see. Wow, did I really do this? What was I thinking? Oh yeah, I was thinking I can slash home pretty easily, that's right. Alright, all I need is a ghast to hopefully give me a tier, and then we'll be good. This thing doesn't have any looting on it. By the way, people have told me that you can enchant Tinker's Tools. That's pretty shenanigans. What's up with that? I've never seen you be able to do that before. Come on, ghast. Let's go ghast. I have a, I have a ranged weapon now, so at least I brought one of those with me. Seemed a smart idea. You can never find a gas when you need one. This has always been my complaint. I think I think it's like hard coded into Minecraft. Oh, it's your first time in the Nether, and your Nether portal's in an open area, and there's three gas around you shooting fireballs, closing it. Yeah. 
Oh wait, you're out in the nether and you're fully armored up and you've got like weapons and you're you're trying to find a gas? No. No gas for you. Like a little bit of nether quartz, I guess, while I'm here. A little bit of mining never hurt anybody. So I guess what are you? Oh. That's cool. Zombie pigment on a zombie horse. Neato. I'm just gonna wander the nether, I guess, aimlessly until I see a gas spawn. How's that? That sound like a fair plan? Back in a few. So guys, I had the brilliant idea uh, to get myself a blank data model, and then I would kill a few ghasts and be good. Yeah, that was a really dumb idea. Because I spent, like, not even kidding, half an hour running around the nether, and I found, like, one ghast, and luckily he dropped a ghast here. They must be, like, super rare. I don't know because of the way mobs spawn in there or what, but... Long story short, I got one. Uh, and it requires, unfortunately, uh, a gas tier in order to make the gas data model. So I'd rather use the gas tier uh, to make the, the the air sigil than anything else. So let's, let's do the thing. Um, let's get our air sigil here ready to go. So I need uh, the wand doohickey for crafting, and then we should be cool. Resonating wand, beautiful. All right. I will very much appreciate having an air sigil, because that should basically give me, like, flight effectively, right? I mean, not like creative mode flight, but we've we've played with the air sigil enough that we know how good, how good the air sigil is. And it is good, my friends. It is a good time. So where is my arcane ashes stuff? There you are. And you're going to go here. And then my reinforced plate. And then you with you and you. Oh, ho, 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 that's what's up. Oh, ho, 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 that's what's up. It is air sigil time. I'm very excited about that. Ta-da, air sigil for the dyer. Yes, that's what's up. I feel lighter already. Oh, my goodness, that is that is a 100%. Where have you been all my life? I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yay. Yay, some semblance of flight. That is cool beans right there. That is what's up. All right, so we were going to make some dark armor too, right? Because while I was out and about, my Thaumium armor broke. So I'm like, I really need better armor, right? I want dark steel armor that's going to be well enchanted, that's going to be pretty much the bee's knees of killing mobs uh, and, and protecting me from them. So let's look at that um, and, and, and getting some dark steel armor, right? Because I'm, I'm assuming that dark steel armor... Is once we get the the recipe right, like we're gonna need a dark steel anvil, but that's gonna need a lot of dark steel blocks, right? Um, dark from Ender.io. I assume that the armor is it just normal recipe stuff? It is for the most part, yeah. Atomic alloys are needed, and star metal screws. Oh, that might be a thing. Oh, oh, that might be a thing. Yeah, good thing I checked. So I'm pretty sure star metal is a little bit outside the range of our capabilities right now. Yeah, that's gonna require that's gonna require some stardust. That is gonna be a thing. There's also star metal ingots from Greg Tech that I'm assuming are just straight up a version of stardust, right? Yeah, I think. That does not look like it's anything interesting outside of just normal stardust. Yeah, so star metal is going to be so okay from that. So can we get the thing? Isn't there uh, in magic, blood for the gods, star metal ore can happen with the mark of the falling tower. Uh, ritual from blood magic requires 500 LP to activate and accepts two unique catalysts, which will provide you with the resources shown. To hold 500k LP in your network, you need a master blood orb. Holds 1 million LP. Aha, yes, cool. So the mark of the falling tower, I remember that one. And that'll give us access to a few rocks. Um, and, uh, it says, accept two unique catalysts. So, ooh, that's cool. Black Quartz gets me a nifty pickaxe of some kind. The Black Quartz AIOT. Mm, makes the item shimmer as if it was enchanted. That's all, really. Nothing more. Yes, it is useless. I know. With nature's blessing. Uh, and then Star Metal Ore would get me access to some cool stuff there. So maybe we should look at doing this, right? We already have a Master Blood Orb. When did I get that? How come that's marked complete? 
I definitely do not have a Master Blood Orb, because that is a Tier 4 altar situation, and we are not there. I wonder if uh, Blood Magic's progression is terribly unchanged. So, weak Blood Shards, that's... We need the, the, the Tier 3, and we need to enchant that weapon, so we can kill mobs with the weapon, so we get the weak Blood Shards that they drop. That's the gist, as I recall. Um, so, let's look at upgrading our altar, uh, as it were. So, let's get... Um, Blood Magic upgraded to Tier 4, so we can do Mark of the Falling Tower, so we have access to Star Metal, among other things, which will jumpstart us into some cool tech, right? I like that plan. So that's our plan for uh, the next foreseeable future. So we're going to want some blank runes, and I'd love them to be runes of sacrifice, because my understanding is runes of sacrifice, totally a thing, right? Totally a thing. Uh, now that said, runes of sacrifice do require some black steel dust, uh, which is steel, black bronze, and nickel. Black bronze being silver, copper, and gold. That doesn't look terrible. That looks totally doable. Uh, and it also requires vengeful will crystals. I remember the will crystals were never well developed, it seemed to me, in Blood Magic. Like, they were always a thing, but I never really felt like there was much purpose to the effort in setting them up. But it looks like we're going to get back into will crystals at some point. Um, and then Imbued Slate, which I believe is a Tier 3 altar. Yeah, so if we want Runes of Sacrifice, that would be cool, right? Uh, so pretty much looks like all the runes require runic altars, which require glitch-infused ingots, sky stone, crystallized mineral chunks, and Fengarum gems. So the Fengarum gem, not a problem. Glitch-infused ingots, not terrible. Remember, we have to do that glitch ritual from Deep Mob Learning? Um, yeah. Cool. Nice. Yeah, actually making the glitch-infused ingots, I think, is just dropping the items into the water. All right, that's not terrible. So you don't actually have to do the glitch ritual to get that. But we do need Sky Stone. Uh, and that is going to happen. Again, we get access to that from this guy, right? So we need to do this before we can get upgrades to the Blood Altar. So let's get towards a Tier 3 Altar using just blank runes. So we're going to have to do a Tier 3 and a Tier 4 uh, to get to just blank runes. So let's look at that. Um, let me look up Blood Magic again. Blood Magic Altar. We're going to find out how many runes I need um, to get to Tier 3. So additional Blood Runes will be 20. Um, and then we need the, the pillars with Glowstone on top, generally speaking. So we're going to want some Smooth Stone, but that shouldn't be a problem. That should not be a problem got plenty of that we can get plenty more courtesy of my super fast smelter that we've got downstairs right um and then we're going to need bum, 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 bum. you smelt all that up thank you and then the other thing we're going to need is uh blank slates which need I, I should really find a better way to make these in bulk uh they're not terrible right now but they're also not great right uh, that's Arcane Stone, not a blank rune, so that's a bummer. Uh, but what we can do is get more of these with uh, Arcane Stone, so we have a little bit of it. I remember this being kind of a hassle to craft. Yeah, it needs that knacker stuff. It needs that knacker stuff, which is not fun. So knacker needed for this, because Nocturnal Powder we know how to make. That's not terrible. Uh, but I remember the knacker. It's not hard. It's just a hassle, right? It's uh, it's some kind of smooth stone gold nugget and knacker, which is made by dropping gold nuggets into mana in the world. Right. This was something that we were told to automate a while ago, and we ignored that advice. We ignored that advice uh, mostly because, let's see, modular diversity mana turns into wizardry mana. That's right. Somebody was telling me there was, like, it's equivalent to... It's not the same as mana from Batania mana, because that's not really a liquid, right? Um, so I think the only way to get this stuff right at the moment, it, because we don't have access to this thing yet, though I think we can get this chicken once we do this, Mark of the Falling Tower. Ventium, Resonating Gem, Mana Dust. Meh, maybe not. I think we have to actually go to a planet before we can get that chicken. Right, I don't think Ventium or Thorium, Pitch Blend, Glauconite, Sulfur, Black Quartz, Star Metal, Rock Crystal, Star Metal, ooh, two Star Metal, uh, Aluminum, Sky Stone, all right, we'll see, we'll see. See, here down here, this is all the Wills thing. That's all that stuff that we're going to play with. Poisonous Will, RNG for work 
or work for 100% success. Ah, gotcha. Okay, that's more about that stuff. All right, that was a quest complete. Nice. You will need netherite blocks for your tier 3 altar caps. This metal was founded by the ancient inhabitants of the nether, and they may have hidden re the resources deep in there. Oh, found randomly in the nether at the depths of Y equals less than 17. You can use this material to craft netherite ingots, which can be made into blocks for your tier 3 blood altar or further processed into solarium for a myriad of enderio machines. Great. Thanks for that. Thanks for bringing ancient debris back. <laughs> back to 1.12, that is, obviously. All right, let me get um, the stuff we're needing. I'm going to do the, the crafting of all this stuff off camera, and then we'll be back ready to make our tier 3 altar. And I probably have to go back in the nether and do some digging below Y level 117, which sounds like a blast. All right, guys, we're back. So I got some ancient debris. It's actually not that uncommon. It's actually not that uncommon. Um, and what button did I just push? I don't even know. Uh, in order to turn it, we can smelt it one to one for netherite scrap, or uh, we can turn four to one with starlight infusion. So that sounds like a good time. Can I just link you over here, buddy? Wee, I love flying. Even if it's along the ground, it's still faster than running. Linking tool, please. Wee, love it. Um, so you, sir, can you this the thing? Is that gonna is that gonna do the thing now, or does it need to be in the Starlight Infusion altar? Cause like Starlight Infusion, I feel like this worked when I hit it with a laser, right? Or was that Starlight Transmutation? Oh, that was Starlight Transmutation, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what that was. Look at all these cool things you can do. Look at all the stuff. Stib Knight turns into Bismuth. What? Lots of Starlight. Ooh, thorium turns into uranium 238. I gotta remember that there's some good stuff going on here. Uh, yeah, so this is starlight transmutation versus starlight infusion. Similar but different. But yeah, I don't think we have the infusion. I don't think we have access to the infusion altar yet, do we? Do we have infusion? I mean, we shouldn't be too far off from it. Right? We shouldn't be too far off from it. Starlight infuser. Needs thomium screws, electrum plates, liquid starlight bucket. That does not look unattainable right now, does it? Should we look at making one of these? Look at us doing all the th all, all, the, all the magics. All the magics. Let's unlink all links. Reconnect you. That should look cool. Yeah. All right. So maybe we'll set up a quickie infusion altar over here because that thing's not too bad to get right starlight infusion altar yeah that's that seems doable and then we need a multi-block for it but that's not terrible and it's usually just a, star, a lot of starlight liquid and then we can get into the whole like automating it thing because starlight infusion actually has quite a few recipes um that are really quite nice uh yeah look at all this cool stuff huh Ooh, redstone to gunpowder you don't say quite a few things actually Quite a few things. Glass turns into ice. Neato burrito. Ooh, golden carrots. I like that. I like that. That's a lot of good food. Um, and also improves some, you know, lapis or into lapis blocks. That's cool. Infinity egg into wither soul. Okie dokie then. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Where's my astral book? I, and you know what? It's been about a million years since I've even looked at, you know, upgrading my levels. I always do this. Like, I'm always, like, hyped to get some early levels in Astral, and I completely forget about my perks. Like, I've got 19 points to spend. It's a to-do. It's a to-do. So, Starlight Infusion, is that in here? No, it might be over here. Brilliance. Constellation, Attunement, Exploration. Maybe it's in Constellation. Starlight Infuser. There you are. Yes. Big multi-block. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll get the stuff ready to make this between episodes. And then we'll come back next episode. We'll make that. Then we will turn our netherite into netherite scrap, which is a 4x process. Better than 1 to 1. It's 4 to 1, so that's better. I also picked up another smoker while I was down in there, mining a bunch. Um, it really wasn't bad to get my netherite, or my ancient debris, by the way. It's really not that bad. Then we will make the caps that we need. I've already got the blank runes that I need. 
We'll get the caps that we need. Then we'll have a tier three altar. We'll look at getting the sword thingy from blood magic so we can get the shards so we can get a tier four altar so that then we can do the falling meteor ritual that'll get us astral star dust stuff. And then we'll be rocking. All right, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.